This is the main Firewalla user interface. In the middle, you can see a summary of activities in your network, as well as the total bandwidth used in the past 60 minutes, 24 hours, and 30 days. This can help you find out what your network is doing and which of your devices is overusing the internet. By tapping on Blocked, you will be able to find out what is being blocked on your network and where the blocked traffic is coming from. On the top of the screen, you will find an overview of your network performance and quality. You can tap into the widget to get more details. Here is a quick summary of network performance numbers. And below this, you will find all the recent network events. In case you have any issues, these events will help you to find out why. Firewalla measures your network speed periodically. You can configure and see the test results here. In addition, you will also be able to test network latency, packet loss, and Wi-Fi speed. Each button below provides a different function. Let's take a look. The Devices button shows you a list of devices and device groups on your network. You can drill down individually to see detailed activities. If you're into technology, you can even look underneath the device and see exactly where it is communicating to and what is being blocked. From here, you can block a device from accessing certain sites, or you can block by application or activity type directly. The Alarms button will display all your security and activity alarms. Firewalla can alert you to many things, such as hacking attempts on your network, someone watching adult content or playing games, or a new device coming onto your network. Tap on an individual alarm to bring up the detail page. Here you can see who, when, and where the activity is coming from. Based on this information, you can tell Firewalla what action to take when similar activities happen in the future. The Rules button allows you to manage access control rules. The Rules action can be either Allow or Block. The target is content aware, so you can control activities such as gaming, video, or adult content. The target can also be customized via the Target List feature, which can be a built-in or user-defined list of sites. Rules also allow you to schedule when they take effect a useful feature for parents to control kids' online time. If you don't want to deal with setting up rules and still want to block adult content for your family, just tap the Family button and turn on Native Family Protect and Safe Search. It is that simple and easy. If you want to manage a specific family member or employee's access, you can use the User button to create a user to track and control their application usage. For devices that can support router mode, you will see the Network button. This button can be used to create and manage LAN, VLAN, and WAN interfaces in your network. If you have multiple WAN connections, you can either load balance or create an active and standby pair between them. Under NAT settings, you will find various ways to do port forwarding, NAT pass-through, and the ability to manipulate NAT services. The Routes button implements policy and content-based routing in your network. Routes can help you to redirect specific types of traffic to any VPN connection or to a different WAN interface. You can define traffic routes based on network flows or content type. For example, send all video traffic from a device to VPN. The primary role of SmartQ is to regulate traffic flow in your network reducing delays caused by congestion and buffer bloat. Here you can set a rate limit and prioritize traffic based on the content type, application, and network flows. The Adblock button will disable ads and block tracking on your connected devices. The Services button will allow you to configure DNS services, such as DNS over HTTPS to encrypt your DNS requests. Unbound is a validating and recursive DNS server that runs locally on Firewalla. 
This can be useful if you want a native DNS server for performance and to prevent DNS entries from getting filtered or modified. You can also use NTP Intercept to have Firewalla process NTP requests locally. The VPN server provides you with a secure way to connect back home from public Wi-Fi networks. You can surf the internet and access all of your home devices under the protection of Firewalla. This server also allows remote workers to access company resources securely. The VPN client allows you to connect remotely to a third-party VPN service from home via multiple protocols, so you have the flexibility to send all or partial network traffic through VPN. This feature also enables you to connect multiple firewall boxes together via the site-to-site -site VPN service. If your ISP has a monthly data usage limit, you can use the Data Usage button to track an alert before you hit that limit. The Data Usage feature also stores monthly and per-day internet usage, in case you want to dig into them further. The Scan button gives you ways to inspect your network more deeply. It can help you find open ports and possible device vulnerabilities. If you are having trouble with your Wi-Fi network, you can easily use the Wi-Fi test button to dynamically test for dead spots and detect Wi-Fi roaming. In addition to these core functionalities, tap on the plus button and you will see all of Firewall's supported features, including Active Protect and New Device Quarantine to lock down new devices. In case you want to manage multiple Firewall's together, you can use Firewall MSP to get a rich, unified, and in-depth view of your network. MSP includes advanced reporting, VPN mesh capabilities, and the option to view past network events. Firewalla, making cybersecurity simple and powerful.